Canon just killed off two more EF lenses, the 85mm and the 70-200mm. What's next? Is this the beginning of the end for the DSLR and EF mount? OM Digital filed a patent for a dual and quad pixel autofocus system. It looks like OM Digital's far from dead. But will this innovation make it to the WOW camera due out in the next 12 months? This and more after the intro. Thanks for tuning in to The Ordinary Filmmaker. Subscribe to get notification of new videos like this one so you don't miss any news, rumors, gear reviews, or tutorials. And a big thanks to Atomos for sponsoring The Ordinary Filmmaker. I'm using the Ninja 5 external recorder for all my studio work as it saves me a ton of time in post. Want to speed up your projects in post? Well then use my links down below to purchase your own Ninja. And now for the news. Yesterday I published a story about Canon discontinuing the EF 40mm f2.8. The week before, Canon discontinued the EF 200mm f2. And in yesterday's video, I cited Canon rumors. I suspect that we're going to see a bunch of EF lenses sent to pasture over the next 12 months. Well, to pasture it is. Today we have two more victims, the Canon EF 70-200 f4L Image Stabilized USM Mark II. It's being discontinued along with the EF 85mm f1.2 L Series USM Mark II. Now Canon still has inventory, as do many retailers. But when they're gone, that's it. Well, not exactly. You see, Canon produced an awful lot of EF lenses since 1986. You'll be able to find many of these lenses in the used market for many years to come. We'll likely see many more EF lenses get the axe in the coming months as Canon's targeting lenses that don't move as much volume. I know what you're thinking. This doesn't mean it's the beginning of the end for the DSLR or the EF lenses. I'm tired of people talking about their death. And you're right. Look, you're going to be able to buy Canon gear, DSLRs and lenses, and get them serviced for many years. And you're also going to be able to buy replacement parts. The used market will be active for decades to come. Canon produced an awful lot of DSLRs and EF lenses, and they aren't going to disappear overnight. And on the plus side? Well, prices are only going to continue to come down and become more affordable as more and more people move to the R system. Sure, I've also moved to the R system, but I still buy EF and EFS lenses. At this point, though, no one should really doubt Canon's future. It's solidly behind the R system. 43 Rumors discovered a very interesting Olympus patent. The patent supports dual and quad pixel autofocus. Sound interesting? Well, Canon's supposed to be coming out with quad pixel autofocus in the R1. Now, my question is, could this capability make its way into the wow camera that we've been promised? OM Digital already has a solid focusing system, but this would go a long way to showing that OM Digital is serious about innovation and win over customers from Panasonic, uh, Sigma, and others. I like this patent an awful lot. OM Digital shows that if one is committed, one can innovate and deliver, which makes me wonder why Panasonic isn't doing anything to move off contrast detect autofocus and why Leica and Sigma also are stubbornly stuck with contrast detect. The L-Mount Alliance is beginning to look like the doomed alliance. Now, unlike the L-Mount Alliance, and I wish I could say that the way others say it, OM Digital has me excited. I look forward to this WOW camera. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on new camera bodies coming out from OM Digital. And I really believe that they have what it takes to make OM Digital stronger, a strong contender, and will advance in market share over the next few years. JIP isn't looking at this as an opportunity to spin off the company to make a quick buck, but as a way to build a solid and competitive camera company capable of one day making it to the top three spot. I know what you're thinking. It's a tall order, and it is, but if they put their heads down and listen to the market, and not just their happy customers, they can make it happen. Just like Sony, they weren't even in the camera market years ago, and now look at them, they're in second spot behind the market leader. If OM Digital keeps up their innovation, research and development, and listens to the market, not just the people saying nice things, well, they can only go up from here. I'm behind OM Digital, cheering them on. I may use Canon equipment, but I want to see a strong marketplace where competition delivers better products. Those that don't innovate, it, don't, those that don't innovate in a declining market, well, they do so at their own peril. And now, let's go behind the scenes. I've got a lot to cover in tonight's Behind the Scenes. First up, a merch update. Remember when I first got the Ordinary Filmmaker ball cap? This little guy right here? It was last summer, it was a sunny day, my son had just bought it for my 50th birthday and it was right after I'd had surgery and I'd also picked up the Canon EOS R5 earlier that day. 
it was a pretty hectic July. I was really quite impressed with the, the gift that my son had got for me. But you were pretty impressed too, and many of you have been pushing me ever since to start offering the cap up for sale. And I'm talking about one person in particular. Yes, Marty, that's you. Week after week, month after month, Marty's been asking me, hey, where's the ball cap in almost every comment? But I got something in the post today. Let me show it to you. This is the third ball cap that I've been sent to review. And if this is good, if this is the one, we might have something for you, Marty. Ooh, okay, this is a good sign already. It's 47, uh, or 47 cleanup is the brand, so they match the brand. The color looks pretty good. Wow, that's almost identical. This one looks like it's a little bit darker, but then again, this one's brand new, and this one's, well, been through quite a bit. Let's see the quality. It's got a metal buckle on the back. It's got that same denim feel. This, this is really good. Yeah, look, everything from inside, the brand, it's got the same, yeah, branding's exactly the same. So I'm really happy because as much as I want to be able to offer you up something that you can buy with the Ordinary Filmmaker logo on it, I don't want to just sell you anything. Like, this is an example of the one I was given before. I don't know how well or how good this looks on video, but here it's very flimsy, it's very cheap. It's got one of those colors that says, hey, you know, I'm cheap. And I just didn't want to sell that to you. I want to give you guys quality stuff. You're buying quality cameras and you should be able to walk around with quality merchandise. So this is the third item. Since late December, I've been working with a company to help me with this. And I'm going to tell you more about the company name later on, but we're still working on a few things. We're doing a soft launch. Uh, and everything you're going to see is going to be through OrdinaryFilmmaker.com. So this ball cap, it's going to, I'm going to, you, you, let me see if I can speak now. I'm so excited. You're going to be able to pre-order this on Friday, and then it'll start shipping next Friday. Now I'm going to post the details in terms of um, how you go about doing that. It is going to be through OrdinaryFilmmaker.com, but I'm going to have more details, and I'm going to post those on Friday. But that's not all. More merch is coming. The next item will be a high-quality, wrinkle-free golf shirt, much like the one I'm wearing. Now, I wear these all the time for the channel and for work. They're very lightweight, they breathe, they wash easy, and of course, they don't wrinkle. And so I'm really looking forward to getting some of those. Hopefully, it won't take as long to get as the um, Ordinary Filmmaker branded um, baseball cap. And since we've already got companies, we've already got a logistic chain in place, it should go a lot smoother. And of course, these two prizes are kind of the perfect, or not prizes, merchandise items, are the perfect segue into the next topic, the Spring Challenge, where there is a prize. Now, the contest ends tonight at midnight. That's March the 31st, midnight Toronto time. And I want to thank everybody for participating this year. Now, I have reviewed each video. Well, each video received two to date. And I've got a scoring mechanism where I'm going to go through and I'm going to take a look at all the entries. And I'm going to grade them on who really captured the essence of the Spring Challenge who best connects with the viewer, communicates their message, and who can also connect on an emotional level. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the top five, and then I'm going to put out a YouTube community poll tomorrow asking you to vote on which you think is the best one. Now I'm going to keep that poll up there on the community forum until 0900 hours next Friday. That's 9 a.m. Toronto time next Friday. Now the person with the most votes will get an Angelbird 512 gigabyte CF Express card and Angelbird CF, CF, CF Express card reader, along with an Ordinary Filmmaker baseball cap. So that's for the first place winner, so that's really good news. But everybody else in that poll, the remaining four runner-ups, will also get an Ordinary Filmmaker baseball cap. So that's really good news. Now once the contest is over, I'll reach out to you to get your name, uh, address, and phone number, so I can have these shipped out to you. They're going to be shipped out from our clothing company, and also from Angelbird, depending on who you are. You might get two packages if you're the first. Well, you will get two packages if you're in first place. Oh, and one last thing. I'm planning another challenge for April, and I'm looking to launch a new solution on OrdinaryFilmmaker.com to gather your entries. Submit links uh, through, or submitting links through Facebook, and the comment section has proven to be a little bit unreliable, so this new system I'm coming up with is going to be very transparent. It's going to allow me to communicate with you a whole lot better, and then so, be so much easier to reach out to the winner. So that, I'll, I'll let you know more about that in the coming weeks. Uh, there's an awful lot going behind, on behind the scenes. There really is. The company I'm working with, they're great. They are a startup. They're, they're, they're looking to help YouTubers like me be able to leverage tools out there so I can offer merchandise, that I can do contests, that I can, I can 
reach out to more subscribers than I can with my small size. And I've got a lot to tell you about. There's a big story in the works here. Um, and we're doing, we did a soft launch a few weeks ago where we put out the ordinaryfilmmaker.com. And right now, all you can do on there is you can choose to get notified. And you can get notified by email or by a text message. And yes, I know you can do that with YouTube right now, but some people were complaining that, well, the YouTube process was slow or they didn't get updates. So that was one quick and easy win to get the site up. Anyhow, let's get back to the spring challenge. Dominic is the latest to take up the challenge. Now, when he started filming, Winter came back and it inspired him to create this film. Well done, Dominic. A solid entry. You captured the spring challenge in its essence. Now I'll be rechecking other entries by midnight tonight, but that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe for your chance to win two Angelbird 128GB AV Pro MK2 V90 SD cards, along with a dual UHS-2 card reader. Or you could also win a Ulanzi LED light package with accent lights, an underwater light, and various other flat panel lights to light your subject, or as a starter kit for starting your own channel. I'll be awarding these two prize bundles once the channel reaches 30,000. And then I'll offer up other prize bundles all the way up to 100,000 in contests like the April Challenge or Spring Challenge. And once I reach the milestone of 100,000, I'll be awarding a brand new Canon EOS R5 full frame mirrorless camera to one lucky viewer. And on that bombshell, thanks so much for watching The Ordinary Filmmaker. We'll see you again soon.